Hey guys, so a day in the life of me. Uh, today was payday and my son was sick for the first time basically since he was a few weeks old so I completely totally forgot to do like half the things I was supposed to do today including make a video. Um, so I am moving my VBAC part three be back prep part three to next week um I did want to make a video though because of a few things so I I have been starting to do some like hip opening exercises and stuff and I was just stretching out my legs and my hips the other day and I guess I overdid it or something because I was in so much pain I couldn't even get up off the floor oh my goodness and it was my hip that was hurting and um I haven't done it since then because I'm so worried about hurting myself again and uh but I'm like okay so what do I do now I can't you know I'm too scared to do the exercises but I gotta do something because I can't just not do anything um so there's that uh I'm feeling baby like all the time and I'm not feeling sick really anymore so you know the pregnancy is so easy going right now like today for example I just felt the baby kicking all day long and so I was able to focus on my sick child and the very small amount of uh of errands that I did actually run successfully and um so it's just nice that it's not all consuming anymore although it is always forefront of my mind you know how my pregnancy is going and and what my next steps are so um I had an appointment um with the midwife and all she really did she asked me how I was doing I was like good and then she uh, checked my fundal height. She didn't even measure. She was just like poking and she's like, it should be right around here. Yep, you're good. And um, and listened to baby's heart for a couple seconds and that was it. And that was my whole appointment. That's why I love midwives because they care and they're there, but they're not going to do anything unnecessary. Um, and... It didn't feel rushed. Even though it was quick, it didn't feel rushed at all. So I really, really enjoyed that about midwives. Um, and she paid attention to my son and was really nice to him. So it was great. Um, I'm saying um a lot today. See, I, I can't think. I'm just so out of it. Uh, so I guess that's it. Uh, if anybody is watching these videos, has any questions, any suggestions for other videos they'd like to see, or anything specific from me, like, hey, could you please do your hair every once in a while? <laughs> I feel bad when I do videos because I don't spend very much time in the bathroom in the mornings. I mean, obviously, you can tell I'm not wearing any makeup or anything, unless I am going to, like, a job that's really nice, um because I like the natural me and I, I don't feel like it's necessary to spend time in the bathroom, but I feel bad for the videos because I watch all these videos of these super beautiful women that are so made up all the time and I feel like sometimes I'm just maybe a little bit too real. So feel free to say that too. Um, please subscribe if you're interested in continuing on this journey with me and following along as we go. Hopefully within the next few videos I'll be able to include my husband too. Um, this Monday, this coming Monday, I do have my anatomy scan so we'll be able to see baby, make sure everything is good, know the gender, so I'm really excited uh, and we will go from there but I am not having my gender reveal for about a week afterwards so um, we'll talk about the gender after the reveal, just in case any family is watching videos. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great weekend. I promise, promise, promise that the video will come out on time on Thursday next week, part three of VBAG prep. And, uh, I hope, 
I'll, maybe I'll even dress up for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye guys.